Today is an exciting day for me. Yay, because I'm going to be trying out this viral product. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm Eye Temporary Eye Tightener. And this went viral, particularly on TikTok, that's where I saw it go viral a couple months ago, and then it was sold out everywhere, couldn't get it, and it's kind of expensive. Full price, it's $38, but over the Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Cyber Week sale that Sephora was having, they actually had it for 25% off, which is like, unbelievable so i picked it up i'm so excited to try it i've had many trials and tribulations with eye creams on this channel if you've been here before you know i have super crepey dark liney under eyes that bother me to no end so i'm gonna see if this actually works according to the packaging this is supposed to instantly tighten firm and smooth the appearance of crow's feet and fine lines and deep wrinkles around the eye area and diminishes the look of under eye puffiness I've got all those things. It also says that this is going to be good for all skin types, which is music to my ears considering I have super, super sensitive skin, which again, I have mentioned a lot on my channel. So I'm gonna review this product. I'm gonna be wearing it for a few hours. I'm gonna put concealer on top of it, the whole shebang, so we can see if this product is worth it or not worth it, whether it works, whether it doesn't. People were going insane over it on TikTok, but on Sephora, it only has a 3.5 review. So I feel like that's not that good for how much people were talking about it on TikTok and everything, but let's get into it. Let's try it out. Again, this retails for about $38 full price. I got it for 25% off and you get 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. I do kind of feel like that's expensive, but again, it's just eye cream. So it's not going to be like you're using palmfuls of this every day. It's probably just, you know, a little bit. Also, I wonder if this is more of just a special occasion type thing or whatnot, because I wonder if this actually is good for your under eyes. I would have to think not. Like I would have to think that you can't sleep in this or wear it every day but I don't see anything that says don't wear it every day but I'm gonna read the back of the packaging I'm gonna read the directions and I'll let you know and then also over time I'll let you know if it like stings my eyes or anything but as far as the packaging it just says that it instantly transforms the eye area visibly tightens firms and smooths the eye area to temporarily minimize the appearance of crow's feet fine lines and deep wrinkles while diminishing the look of under eye puffiness so the same thing it said on the front of the packaging it says shake well sparingly apply a thin layer to freshly cleansed skin I did just clean my skin uh, remain expressionless that's funny. Remain expressionless. Product will dry within three to seven minutes. Use a damp cloth cotton swab fingertips to pat away any visible excess residue and then continue with your usual skincare routine. It says it can be used before eye treatments and makeup or alone. It says to try mixing it with concealer or eye cream, which would be interesting or primer. And then it says if the residue is too thick, try applying a thin layer. Okay, and it's definitely like a temporary effect, but I wonder how long that temporary effect actually lasts for. Like if you're using this and it only lasts for three hours, then it's probably not really worth it, right? But let me just read the information packet it came with to make sure I'm not putting like something horrible on my eyes. And this is all in a different language, so I guess I won't be reading it. And that is why I'm a little more zoomed in today because I really want you to be able to see my under eyes and the bagginess. I'll also do some close-ups and on my phone without the beauty lights, but let's get into it. I'm gonna open up this packaging. It comes with a seal. This is the before of my under eyes close up. You can definitely see the lininess and the bagginess over here, a big line over here. And then on this side, uh, pretty pretty similar like when I go like that you can definitely see that I have a lot of puffiness and a lot of texture especially in the inner corner so I'm gonna put on the eye cream and we'll see what it does just gonna put some on my finger it said to apply a small amount so I'm just gonna start off super small I'm gonna go like this and go ahead and apply now it said to remain expressionless so I'm just gonna keep trying to look forward and not do anything for three to seven minutes, it says. And we'll just, I guess, chat a little bit as it dries. All right, I'm just gonna wait here now for three to seven minutes. I'm gonna keep checking in and seeing if it's working or not. I'm gonna set a timer for seven minutes and then I'll, I'll see you guys back here. 
The consistency of this is very lightweight and thin. It kind of just feels like a silicone primer. Very refreshing, actually, like it's a little bit cooling. It's been about two minutes so far, though, and I'm not seeing any difference, but I'm gonna wait at least another minute or two, and if I need to, I'll go in with a second round to see if this does anything. But right now, it just kind of feels like a slightly cooling primer under the eyes and slightly mattifying as well. It kind of just feels like a primer, to be honest. I'm, I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting for the amazing transformation. So it's now been four minutes. It says to wait anywhere from three to seven minutes to see the results of this, but I'm not seeing any difference in my under eyes whatsoever. So I'm gonna go in with another layer. I did go pretty light on the first layer. It said to do a light layer, but maybe I just need more. So I'm going to squeeze out a tiny bit more than I did last time. And let's see if that helps at all. And I'm just patting this in like I would with an eye cream and try more so to focus this on the inner corner because that is where I have the most wrinkliness. It definitely does feel cooling and with the residue that's left over on my fingers, it actually pills a little bit. So I can see why they say not to put on too much because the residue obviously pills and you don't want that on your face or underneath makeup or anything. I feel a little bit more cooling this time probably because I used more than I did before. But again, I'm just gonna sit here for three to seven minutes and see if anything happens to my eyes. I'm not seeing anything dramatic like in the TikTok videos or anything. Right now, my under eyes look the same. So it's not something that's gonna, you know, tr literally transform before your eyes. At least I don't think that's not the effect I'm having. I probably should not have gone in with that second layer because I am having residue kind of on the outskirts of where I applied it on both eyes. And then my fingers feel like very weird, like I definitely have it on here, stuck on my hands, and I'm trying to wipe it off, but I can't get it off, so I'm gonna have to go wash my hands and then probably around the eye area a little bit. The only thing I'm seeing is a little bit of a white residue right here. I did try to like flick it off a little bit, but it's not coming off, so I'm gonna have to use water or something. But other than that, I think my under eyes look exactly the same. Let me put in some close-ups and then really show you guys what's going on. Then I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll be back to put on concealer and see how that reacts over top. So as you can see on my right eye, actually my left eye too, you can see it has this like white cast sort of. And I definitely need to wash that off with water because I've been trying to get it off with just my finger and it's not working. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. I probably just put too much on. You can also see a little bit of it in the inner corner. I am gonna go and wash off just the the residue that you can see and then i'm going to put some concealer over top of it because i want to see how it reacts with makeup but so far i'm not seeing any difference or any anything major as far as the wrinkles or puffiness goes it looks pretty much the same to me but let me go wash my face and i'll be right back i'm gonna go ahead and put some bobby brown color corrector on my eyes as you can see they're very dark and then i'm gonna go in with some of my favorite concealer the elf camo concealer and i'm just gonna see if it layers on top nicely it feels a little bit drying not terribly but a little bit and I don't wanna put eye cream on top because I don't wanna mess up the effects or if any effects. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. If I was just doing this and not doing a review, I probably would put eye cream over it because it doesn't seem to have done anything or moisturize my under eyes. And I definitely need that before going in with concealer, but this is the first time I'm using the product, so I'm only gonna use this product. I did hydrate my under eyes when I washed my face. I put on my face cream and under eye cream, so that was like a half an hour ago and it honestly should have been enough. This is just the Bobbi Brown color corrector in the shade Light Peach, and it's to help me get rid of some of these dark circles that bother me so much. And then I will go over with a little bit of the e.l.f. Camo Concealer afterwards. This is really just to help get rid of those really, really dark circles that not even the Camo Concealer can cover up. This is applying totally fine over the eye cream. I don't even know if it's an eye cream. The eye tightener. I'm not having any problems with that. Again, I did say it kind of just feels like a primer. So it probably actually is a really good primer for eye products and stuff. It probably just smooths it out a little bit. It does feel a little silicone-y. I don't know if there's actually any silicone in here, but it just kind of feels like a silicone primer. Okay, that definitely helped brighten things up a little bit. Let's go in with some e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. 
buffing in the concealer and then I'm going to give you a final roundup of my thoughts on this eye cream. I might have to keep using it because I don't think it actually did anything, but let me blend out the concealer and then we will talk about it and do some close-ups and then see for sure. So here are the under eyes after some color corrector and concealer. I mean, my under eyes look the same. The eye cream didn't seem to do anything. I think that this eye looks a little bit better than this eye, but it looked a little bit better to begin with. So I don't know that this instant eye firmer actually did anything. And I hate to say it because it was so viral, but let me know in the comments down below if you think my under eyes look any less baggy or puffy or anything, because I don't. I think that they still look just as wrinkly as they did before, and $38 is a lot to pay for an elevated eye primer. You know, like I could just go in with my regular primer around my eyes, as long as it doesn't cause irritation, and really have a similar effect. I feel like it did create a smoother base for my concealer, but I don't know if that is worth the $38. It definitely did not get rid of the puffiness or the wrinkles. And considering this is supposed to be instant, it literally says instant and temporary on the packaging. I don't think that if you use this more over time, it would work better. I think that you pretty much get what you see on the first go around. So I would say definitely go lighter than you think, because again, that first time around, I went really light. I thought it wasn't working, so I put on more. Nothing happened after that except that weird white pilling on my eyes, but I don't see any difference whatsoever in my under eyes, unfortunately. If anything, I think it's the color corrector that made the bags look better, and the concealer, of course. I love the concealer. Ugh, 38 bucks, not worth it to me. But that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful and informational. Please don't forget to subscribe like this video, comment down below, you know the drill, just press all of the happy buttons on the page, and I will see you in my next video.